Welcome everybody to the Killer Shred Ab Workout. We're gonna do one ab exercise per day, 30 seconds on, or you can challenge yourself to do all seven exercises and do the entire ab exercises every single day. But either way, this is gonna be one video. It's gonna take you about four minutes to do all seven or 30 seconds to do one. Let's begin in five, four, three, two. First one, we're going V-sit up. So we're trying to get all the way up. We're trying to touch those toes and we're gonna reach up and we're gonna get as high as we can. Now here's the thing, you wanna really challenge yourself. Try and focus on getting up onto that tailbone and really create that V. And when you do that, you're gonna work on those sexy summer V lines, AKA those bikini lines, AKA those sexy D'Angelo lines. So get up there. We got eight seconds left. Keep going. Try and get up and touch your toes. Two. Good, so that's one. Number two, we're gonna lay on our side. We're gonna start on our left side. We're gonna have our hand flat, legs flat. We're gonna do what's called a side water bug. Now the key here is that you're getting all the way up and you're creating a side V, okay? So don't be reaching out to the front. You wanna get out to the side and create that side V. Now I really like to take my time and extend my arm over my head and reach. When you reach, what you're doing is you're elongating that core. So when you reach, you stretch out, you really feel that pull into the abs. You don't need to go speed for this. You wanna go length, and you wanna be balancing on the left side butt cheek. Three, two, good. All right, that's number two. Number three, we're gonna get onto the right side, so just pivot on over, get down, get into that big spoon position. So hand out, hand up, and reach. So get into that V, that side V. Again, you wanna almost be just behind that hip bone. So you're gonna drive up, you're gonna really reach, extend, feel that stretch, feel that pull, really break down that muscle tissue on the side of your body. I love side water bugs, and that's why I threw it into this first program for you guys. So really reach and stretch. You got five seconds. Four, three, two, good. All right, number four on the stomach. We always wanna create balance, we're gonna do what's called a Superman. Now you don't wanna you know, rabbit it, okay? You wanna go steady and controlled. So what you're gonna do, eyes down, hands on the forehead. I like to even squeeze my shoulder blades together as I go up because it's gonna activate that upper back, but the focus is on the small of the back. Now when you try and lift your thighs off the ground at the same time as a Superman, you're actually gonna feel that into your glutes, work in the butt cheeks and the low back they're all kind of intertwined back there. So up and squeeze, give me one more. Good, number five, we're gonna go into a plank position. Ideally, if you can go onto your toes, we're gonna go onto the toes. If you need a little bit more leverage, go into a push-up position and you're gonna drive your knees in, okay? So either way, the focus is driving the knee in as tight as you can. When we're doing this, we're acting, activating all those muscles below the belly button, okay? My wife calls it the FUBA the fat underneath the belly button. Fuba, maybe it's two Bs at the end, I don't know. But just drive the knees in. I like to go slow and steady and really feel that squeeze. Slow and steady, really feel that squeeze. Good, all right, next one. We're gonna lay on our back and we're gonna do a sprinter crunch. So your legs are gonna be out, elbows down to your side. You're gonna try to get up onto that tailbone and we're gonna switch one side at a time. So drive that knee up, again, you can go speed if you want, but for me, I like to go slow and really activate as much muscle as possible. When you go fast, you only activate a few muscles. Bigger muscles, more calories to activate, but when you go a little bit slower, you actually work all the deep defined ab muscles that are in there because they're triggering and they're creating control as you go down. So you're driving the knee up and you're twisting to the opposite leg. Last one, again, underneath the belly button, and see how fast that went? We're going legs out, driving the knees in. So let your head rest on the floor, looking up at the ceiling. Now try and keep your heels as tight to your butt as possible so that you can feel that knee drive right into the belly button. And that's ultimately what you're trying to do, is drive that knee into the belly button so that you can really work on the muscles underneath the belly button, AKA the FUBA. You might have to correct me on that, but I think it's right. FUBA, so drive the knees in, create a little bit of lifting in the butt action, abs tight, give me one more, time. 
There's your seven ab exercise, baby. Good job.